Hello there, today I'm going to talk about subnetting on IPv4 Class C network. Before we start, we're going to do a quick review on IPv4 address notation. As we know, the Class C address has three octets representing the network portion and the last octet representing the host portion. The subnet mask for a Class C address is 255.255.255.0 in decimal and like this in binary. The Class C network is also known as a slash 24 network because it has 24 bits activated on the network portion. Important. IPv4 has two reserved addresses in every network, the network address and the broadcast address, being the first and the last addresses on the network. For example, in a regular Class C network where you have 256 addresses available, two of them will be reserved, the first and the last, and the remaining 254 addresses will be the host. Now that we covered the basics, let's do the subnetting. Subnet is the act of split a network in two or more smaller networks. In this video, we're going to show you how to transform a slash 24 network into a slash 25 network. So first we need to calculate the subnet mask for the new network. Here we have the subnet mask in binary of a slash 24 network. And what we do when we want subnet is walk to the right and activate the bits on the last octet. So here we have a new subnet mask with the first bit on the last octet activated being part now of our new network portion. And this will be a slash 25 network because it has 25 bits on the network portion and the seven remaining bits will be our host portion. The next step is to find the subnet mask value in decimal. So here we have the three first octets we already know its values is 255.255.255. What we need to do is calculate the value for the last octet, the one that we changed. So we're going to focus on it. And under each bit, we're going to write the decimal value for it. And what we do is add the decimal value of each bit that is activated on the network portion. In this case, you only have the first one activated, so it's going to be a result 128. And this is going to be our mask 255. 255, 255, and 128. After we find the subnet mask, what we need to do is find out the range of our new network. So, we take the subnet mask that we just made it of the slash 25 network, and now we're going to focus on the host portion. So, here we're going to put on focus. And remember that the first bit on the octet is now part of the network portion. So we're going to ignore it during our calculation. We again write the decimal value under the binary value. And what we do is add the decimal value for each bit that is on the host portion. Doing the math, we're going to have the result of 127. But remember that we start our addresses on zero, so actually have 128 addresses. After that, what we need to do is find out the number of subnets, and this we do dividing the range of a regular class C network by the new range that we just found it. Found it. So here we have the 256 divided by 128, that the number we just found it, and this is going to give us two subnets. So we have two subnets with 128 addresses each, which means that we have 126 hosts in each subnet. Now that we found the basic information, we're going to 
write down the full example for the slash 25 network. So here we have a regular class C IP address and we're gonna determine the whole slash 25 network for it. First we need to write down the subnet mask and binary having 25 bits activated because it is a slash 25 network. We write it the subnet mask now in decimal. We find out the range, then the number of hosts, and then the number of subnets that we're gonna use. After that, we need to allocate the addresses for each subnet. So here we have and the network number one is gonna have the network address on dot zero. The host range from one to one twenty six, and the broadcast address on one twenty seven. After the end of the network number one, we start the network number two. So the network address for the network number two is gonna be dot one twenty eight. Then the range of the host is going to be 129 to 254. And our broadcast address is going to be dot .255. And this is our subnet in our slash 25 network. And this is all the information that we need to do need to know. The rest is just you allocate your machine in Type the host range that you just wrote here. Well, thank you for watching and check our description for the PDF version of this video and also for the exercise file to you to practice your knowledge.